Okay, so I've got a Boss DXT. Um, I believe it's a nine foot two. Let me check here. Yeah, nine foot two DXT Power V snow plow. Um, honestly, had nothing but trouble with it since I got it because I put it on a lifted truck. Um, they recommend, I forget what it is, um, a certain amount of inches from the ground to the mounting hole there where your pin goes in. And I believe mine is about three inches too high. Um, I thought I was gonna have to well, let me backtrack. The reason my truck is a little too high isn't because it's a big lifted truck. I had to put slightly larger tires on it and I had to move my trailer hitch up in the rear because some of the driveways I plow, I was hitting in the front and the back when I would pull in. So I had to get the truck higher in the air. As you can see, you know, they recommend that that right there that connects to the plow be level mine is slanted downward um, at first it was a big problem because the plow was tipped way forward so only the front part of the V was hitting and it was nose diving into the ground um, I didn't think I was gonna have an option besides getting some lowering brackets which I found on eBay but turns out, um, in here, on these plows, you can take that bolt out, and they say you can slide the rubber piece back and forth in there to adjust the angle. I had no luck because it's the same size, whether you slide it forward or backward. So I actually took it out, and I cut it down with a grinder, the rubber, to make it thinner. I contacted boss they said if I wanted to I could pull the rubber right out if I needed to make that much space so anyway I did that so I was able to get the plow to sit pretty much 90 degrees to the ground they recommend that you know that piece right there be a 90 degree angle to the concrete or to the ground I got pretty close well then I was out plowing and I found that I have a few driveways where I go over a hump and as I was going over these humps I, I went back and I noticed I thought the plow was just pushing really nice and come to find out um, when it was like hyper extended when it needed to be hanging over the edge of a hump it wasn't touching the ground in float mode so i realized because the truck was lifted and the frame was three inches too high that uh, i basically came home i put the front of the truck up on some blocks and i tried to drop the plow and found that it wasn't going down far enough to float on these driveways that are like that so I goofed around and I made an extension for the top. Um, it was too big. I won't even bother to show it. It would have worked, but it, my plow just wouldn't lift high enough anymore after I put that on. So I took it off. I had an old ram off of another boss plow. I cut the eyelid off of it and I welded it to the end of this one. Basically making... That hydraulic ram right there, my lift cylinder like an inch longer. And an inch there translates, you know, to a couple inches in the lift. So that gave me enough play for it to go down further in float mode. Still doesn't go down far enough. Still can't scrape some of the driveways that I do because it just won't go down far enough. I wish Boss made a longer cylinder for lifted trucks. 
also the the uh, lift cylinder when it does bottom out if it's hanging over a bank or something like that I'm noticing it doesn't like to kick back into lift mode I have to back up and jar the plow in order to get it to lift so that's just what I've gone through so far so what I've been finding out today we got a little snow um, I'll turn the truck plow on here and show you when I'm and I, I guess I'm not the only one this is happening to by far you probably won't be able to see it very good but when I push the button to put both wings up that's what's happening so you can see it a little I'll do it again that time it went pretty even about half the time they'll go even the rest of the time they do whatever they want to do um, I notice all my buddies with fishers don't have this problem I did try on the original remote that came with this thing it had scoop where you push the two buttons um, I had the same results so I got another remote just like it I had the same results I then got this remote from Storks plow dot com and I love the remote it's great I know that I can't blame this issue on the remote because I've had this is the third remote with the same exact thing going on um, I've heard a lot of people talk about the smart lock cylinders. Um, I know for a fact that when I'm back dragging this plow, uh, the wings are locked. So I know the smart locks are working, at least in back drag. Um, not sure how much more they do how they could be malfunctioning any more than that I think that's their primary thing so I went and got a uh, pressure gauge off of Amazon 5000 PSI for hydraulic put a little T in this thing I'm going to install it um, I'm kind of wondering if my hydraulic pressure, the relief valve, is way too low. And so it's not given a sufficient amount of hydraulic power to make both cylinders want to move as fast as they could. I know that this has an adjustment, which I'll get into if I need to. Um, and I do know that these are supposed to... Uh, relief the pressure reliefs at 2800 psi so basically if I put this in line right here and I put one of these wings up against a tree or snowbank or anything and just idle forward and for low I should see this pressure gauge um, that wing shouldn't give until it hits at least the 2800 psi so i'm going to install this i'll pause the video and uh go from there and i'll restart and we'll see what happens okay so i got the gauge installed uh, i just ran it back and forth a couple times to see if there's any leaks stuck a paper towel under there so I could notice anything besides the fluid I lost when I undid the hose seems like it's all right for this test um, so what I'll have to do is uh, go and get somebody who can give me a hand and uh, we'll 
restart the video and see how we make out. Okay, so finding somebody to help me drive my truck wasn't as easy as I thought. So what I did, again, I've got the pressure gauge here. Right now you can see it's holding at a little less than 2,000. Um, I took a come along, put it on my wheel to the plow, as you can see there. So what I'm going to do is crank on the come along. should give me the same, uh, would be just like hitting a snowbank or anything else. 2,800 PSI is what I'm looking for. So what I found is that. It does go to 2800 PSI before the pressure valve kicks. So that's clearly not the problem. But if you're wondering a way to t test your pressure relief valve, there's a way to do it i don't know how much that gauge costs from boss um <clears throat> i think i built it for 20 bucks so that's that i guess i'll post another video if i figure out what this might be thanks for watching